Hi there, everybody. Uh, here to talk a little bit about week four. Start with the overview really quickly. Hope you've been enjoying the long weekend. Notice I've got a nice little note up here giving you some information I'm going to walk through verbally right now about putting in your, uh, submitting your paper um, and your letter to the reader. Those are our two really big events for this week, and I'm okay with that. We've done a lot of build-up, doing a lots, of di lots of different exercises, trying to strengthen our, uh, if you want to call them, argumentation muscles. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening. Tuesday, September 6th, uh, you're going to be submitting your essay number one to turnitin.com by 11.59. Here's the class ID and enrollment key. If you don't have an account with them, you have to make one. It's really, really easy. Um, if you can figure out how to use, let's say, TikTok or Twitter or Insta, you shouldn't have any problem with this. But again, if you do, um, I've got lots of links that I can send to you or point you in the right direction. Uh, you're also going to be submitting on Tuesday uh, your letter to the reader in the week four module. Um, and again, that's your chance to uh, talk through what you intended to, to do in your essay and kind of take back a step back and assess it. Coming up this Saturday, we've got an exit poll. In other words, we're done with our big first unit of the course. So I'd like to get some feedback from you about what you found to be really helpful about the unit, um, what changes you might like to see in it. If you had to, God forbid, if you had to take the course again, or you know, if you think there's a way in which it can be approved, I would love to hear about that. So that's right there in the week four overview. I'm going to go home and jump back. Um, let's go to what to do on the sixth, okay? Final draft submission. My work here is done. Boom. Click on right here. That's going to take you to turn it in. And again, I've reposted that class ID information and that enrollment key. Enrollment key is the same as the number of this course. See what I did there? Um, Simpsons memes. Uh, I don't know. Well, what can I say about that? I don't know if there is anything to say about it. Makes me giggle. Letter to the reader. Nice little meme. I actually made that one. So feel free to rip me on that one. Um, here I'm giving you some instructions about how to write your letter to the reader. Um, and at the first part, you're going to be talking to the reader about what you intend to do uh, in the essay for the readers. Now, um, you want to talk about the purposes and effects you want to have on the readers. And you say who your readers are. I also want you to reflect back and think about the process of working on the essay. How did you narrow the assigned topic? What kind of planning did you do? What kind of steps did you do? Um, I want you to think about process because it doesn't matter what you're doing. And I've said this before, I'll see it again, you know, whether it's, you know, learning how to dance or bake the best cake or whatever. You've got to do a couple things. One is you, you put effort into it, blood, sweat, tears. Second part is you step back and you look at all the steps that got you to that product, that got you to that end point. Where did those steps really work? Where can you refine those steps? It doesn't have to be like a revolution necessarily. Um, people who commit to improving all the time, you know, aren't, aren't committing revolutions every week necessarily. What they're doing is finding ways to keep on fiddling with things in order to just make them a little bit better each day. And I think that's a good achievable goal. It's a great lifetime goal to have. I'm going to ask you to think about argumentation ideas such as soapstone and classical appeals and kairos, um, essay structure, paragraph, and sentence structure. Remember at the essay structure level, you've got your thesis, you've got your paragraphs that, that are supporting paragraphs, your intro and conclusion. Paragraph structure, we talked about topic sentences a little bit last time we met. Um, maybe you feel like you need some work on those. 
do you need to combine paragraphs? Do you need to split them up? Those things are, you know, important questions to ask. Sentence structure, this is all that paint job stuff that we talked about way down the road, right? It's your grammar, punctuation, spelling, word choice, or diction, if we want to call it that. Sentence structure or syntax. After all this, you're going to sign the letter. Yeah, I know you can't really sign it on a Word document. If you want to give that fancy little um, handwriting script at the bottom, that's fine. Um, but remember, um, let's practice putting this in MLA format. Um, single space is fine, though, because it is a letter. Um, if there are any questions on that, let me know. Um, I then have an example of the letter there. If you notice, it's not mind-blowingly long, but you know, it's a chance for you to think about what you did um, and how to keep that you know, ball of continuous gradual improvement rolling. Oh, and there goes a bunch of my books. I'll have to get those in a second. Then, coming up after that, final draft submission, and I talked about that already. Um, coming up for Saturday, you've got a unit one exit poll. Really easy. Once again, you're going to be talking about what you learned, what you thought was a great idea, also something you need to change. Once again, it's a chance for you to reflect on the big ideas of this unit. Finally, for this week, I'm going to ask you to read the instructions for the reading portfolio coming up. That's for our second big unit. Um, and I put it down into three steps. You'll notice up here, I've got the due date, October 4th, 11.59 p.m. Now, in this second unit of the course, we're going to be reading six texts that I'm going to want you to do something very specific with. When you're going to record a summary of each text. Um, and that's going to be important. I'm going to put some summary information up in the, in the coming week. Um, step two, um, do this along the way. So in other words, backpacks versus briefcases, that's going to be your first text. After you're done with that, what you're going to do is put, uh, build an MLA formatted Microsoft Word document. And you're going to put an MLA entry like you'd find on the Works Cited page. And I've got all, kind of links, all kinds of links for that, too. So it'll be last name, comma, author, etc. And I've got links to Al to help you with that. Then a brief summary, a paragraph at most, right? You know, one way you can summarize is by looking at the biggest, most important idea of each paragraph. And it's, remember, summaries are also about main ideas, not supporting ideas. Finally, a brief statement about your reaction to the text. Two sentences long, um, focusing on one specific idea that you found was really useful or perhaps that you thought, there's no way that you can find to apply this idea or this term or this notion. You just feel like, you know, it's, it's a fifth wheel. Does, you don't, you're not seeing any usefulness or utility for it. If so, write about that and explain why. So after you do that, step three, what are you going to do? Well, maybe I should write out that three. Um, you're going to write a concluding paragraph about the text that you think you got the most out of, be most helpful uh, for you, and say why. And of course, you, are, you should be uh, hopefully feeling free and willing to email me, text me, if you've got questions at all about anything going on this week. I've also updated the advice hours page. You can go here, you can click here, and it'll take you right to Zoom. If you like doing the meeting idea, ID, that works too. Um, but that's really it for week four, because I know we got that big event, and some people are still working on it. Anyway, um, I hope you're having a good weekend, and I'll be talking to you soon.